Hi guys, what's up? Okay, so this is my hair. It's an old braid out. It's shrunken a little bit in the front, or a lot of it. It's kind of shrunken a lot in the front. So what I'm doing is I'm separating my hair into four sections, but I'm keeping that side part. You saw the side part? But I split my hair down the middle as if I was going to braid my hair in four sections. However, I'm only just the front two sections. The back I'm going to leave out because I don't care about the back being extra long because my hair is naturally layered so as long as the front piece is long the back can remain at that length and it'll still be good. Okay and I roll the ends you know I used perm rods this time because that affords stretch and I made that video I cannot plait or twist the ends of my hair or it will snarl and not be good. Okay, so now I'm taking the hair out. Okay, and that's the side part. The side part is very important. That really creates the style. It's all about the side part, guys. Okay, so then you're going to take small bobby pins. Those are really effective for your edges. I'm going to make a separate video about this because I love it that much. I love this simple, ridiculous technique that much. It really works video coming up on that okay so you just bobby pin on either side of your side part or if you had a middle part you would bobby pin on either side of your middle part I just happen to like side parts and then you separate the rest of the hair out and you take a piece of hair and hide the bobby pins you don't want to see that bobby pins and you can see how I literally only had those plaits in for like five or ten minutes and it really did stretch the front of my hair out a lot you want to puff and fluff your hair into a nice shape. That is a bracelet. Okay. That is a really great bracelet. That's actually my mom's bracelet. Okay. So I'm going to use that to adorn my hair. Simple bracelet. You take it. You want to see where you're going to place it. You saw I just tested it to see where I was going to put it. You're going to take two bobby pins. It doesn't matter the size of the bobby pins. And attach them to either side of the bracelet. It's great if you really have an elastic bracelet this is an elastic bracelet so that the the gems can slide and the bobby pins themselves will have a nice elastic piece to hold on to and conceal that you really want to connect your hair on the side so that it looks full and together and that's the finished look that's the purse guys hope you enjoyed if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like it visit me on my website follow me on facebook twitter and pinterest links in the description box